What does the Black Easter 12-day Akitu ritual have to do with the 13 days leading up to Beltane? What did the old gods of the East have to do with the May Day Maypole? What do the new gods of the West have to do with the cherubim and flaming sword to keep the way of the tree of life have to do with one another? Does the Bohemian Grove, Asherah poles, and obelisks have a tie that binds? Is there a connection to Hannibal the Carthaginian, one of the greatest military commanders in recorded history, and Hammurabi the Amorite first dynasty Babylonian law-bringing king? Is there a connection to Meriadoc, Melkart, Chimosh, Molek, Anu, Marduk, Bel, and Baal? How does the rebirth of Babylon, the revaluation of the new Iraqi dinar, and the four horsemen of the apocalypse tie in together right now? What does the seed of the serpent, Jacob's ladder, and the tower of Babel have in common? What does the temple and the arch of Baal have to do with anything? What do these triumphal arches globally have to do with these false gods and their thrones? Get all these answers and more in the video series titled Games of Thrones, Gateways of Gods. So Ephesians chapter 5 verse 8 through 16. For you were sometimes darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth proving what is acceptable unto the Lord, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them, for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light, for whatsoever does make manifest is light. Wherefore he says, Awake you that sleep, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be you not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Romans chapter 8 verses 35 through 39 says, Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine? or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, For your sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And from Colossians 1, verses 9 through 17. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might, according to His glorious power, unto all patience and longsuffering with joyfulness, giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who has delivered us from the power of darkness, and has translated us into His kingdom of His dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And we'll finish with Deuteronomy chapter 31, verses 16 through 18. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, you shall sleep with your fathers, and this people will rise up, 
and go a whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land, where they go to be among them, and will forsake me, and break my covenant which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, are not these evils come upon us, because our God is not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which they shall have wrought, in that they are turned unto other gods. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Turn away from these false gods, and we will expose the works of darkness, and we will expose these false gods for the fallen angels that they are, that have set themselves up for worship. In all these things, we will be made wise unto the Spirit of God and His Holy Spirit, and into the knowledge of the things that are good and righteous. In His name's sake, Amen.